But right now we have new details tonight on a hazing scandal at a South Florida high school. Several student athletes could soon be in new legal trouble. CBS 4's Joe Murray is live in Cooper City with details on this story. Joe? Well, Elliot, the allegations of hazing surfaced last March when the baseball team here was up in Altamont Springs near Orlando at a baseball tournament. When the team got back, one of the teenagers went to, along with his mother, to the Broward Sheriff's Office and reported these allegations of hazing. Well, it's taken all this time, but now the Altamont Springs Police Department says they are moving forward with filing possible charges. Eight months after Altamont Springs Police began investigating eight players on the Cooper City High School baseball team on allegations of hazing, they say they have filed information with the state attorney's office. And we've learned the charges being considered are simple assault, false imprisonment, and sexual battery. The players were at a tournament last March when a student claims five teammates held him down and pulled his pants down. He says they were able to get his underwear down to his thighs, but then he fought them off. He says another night he saw the same group hold down a teammate and sexually assault him. This baseball player says he had never heard of such hazing until last March. No, they didn't know. It was all new. It was all shocking. I never, it doesn't really happen. I don't know why it happened. Other students say if it happened, then the eight should be held accountable. I think that charge is very deserved. I think that student should not have been a victim of such hazing. How can that happen in school? How can that happen in under adult supervision? How does that go unnoticed? The school district issued a statement saying the situation is being taken very seriously. The district special investigative unit continues to cooperate with the Altamont Springs Police Department. Now, the coach at the time is no longer with the school district. He allegedly said to the student who did the reporting originally to just let it go, but I asked police whether he's going to be charged, and they said at this time no pending charges are being filed against the coach at the time. In Cooper City, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.